In this video, I'll be showing how I maxed out the greed machine all in one run. The first thing you gotta know is that you have to unlock the bone heart. That's needed to craft the key. You also need to have Tainted Cane unlocked. And another controller for a second player. The first thing you want to focus on is getting the ingredients in order to craft two to three steam cells. This will lower the price of the shop items and it allow you to gain a net profit every time you disassemble one. Keep an eye out for the clicker in the shop. You're going to need player 2 to grab the clicker as their active item. After that, it's time to focus on your build. Your best bet for Bone Hearts is going to be the membership card. So that'll have to be your next craft. Once you have the membership card, once you have your membership card, keep an eye out for any time that it would offer hearts or reroll machine. If it does not offer hearts, then reroll it. If it doesn't have a reroll machine, simply proceed to the next floor. Once you have your R key, it's basically just a matter of getting money and um, going against greed several times. After you beat greed, you're going to need to get the second player, the one who hasn't previously beaten greed before, to donate to the greed machine. Simply use the R key and then the clicker on player 2 to switch characters to begin the journey again. By repeating this, you can continuously donate to the greed machine in a single run.
It took me a little over two hours to max out the greed machine. So thank you for watching, and until next time.